another beautiful morning in Paris. <laughs> so we've been to a boulangerie, we've got ourselves some breakfast, and we're ready for the day. Behind us is Victor Hugo's house. He's considered one of France's best novelists, responsible for The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Les Miserables, the latter of which was adapted into my favorite musical of all time. Do you hear the people sing? <laughs> well, this is an interesting corner. Down here, we have the Arc de Triomphe. Behind us, we have an Egyptian obelisk. And over here, we've got the Eiffel Tower. Right now we're headed to the Arc de Triomphe. The Arc de Triomphe behind us is a monument honoring uh, soldiers who fought and fell in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. It's vast yet elegant, one's eyes drawn to its perfect curvature. Check out this for a glamorous tunnel. where they bury an unknown soldier. This soldier represents all the soldiers that passed in World War I and it's signified here with an eternal flame. stumbled across the Christmas market. I am slightly ashamed to admit I've been a Grinch in the past, but today I'm going to vanquish that side of myself and embrace all things Christmas. Holly hanging across the door Neighbors singing tells of joy It's so close Hardly can wait Waking up on Christmas Children dreaming without a care Tis the season everywhere. Here we have a huge cup of milled wine with added amaretto. Now the amaretto gives it an almondy Christmassy taste. Merry Christmas. Chocolate crepe. Practically a salad. Mm. I have here the French equivalent of a hot dog. It's a huge big cheese sausage in a baguette with uh, onions and I've added uh, mustard and I've added ketchup. Mm. Hello, we're in Montmartre in the 18th arrondissement. This was once an artist's haven that was home to Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali. And tonight we're going to a cabaret show at the Moulin Rouge. Yes, bucket list. Wow, that was so awesome. If you're wondering if Moulin Rouge is worth it, absolutely. Really high quality production, amazing cast, a massive cast. On a technical level, amazing lighting. Amazing costumes, set yeah. changes, it was all so slick. Great audio, good hosting, they come sit you down where you should be seated. Live sea snakes, who would have thought? Yeah, a perspex <laughs> swim tank rises out from the floor at one point, full of snakes that one of the dancers swims in. Uh, and there was a real mix of items too. There was some was. acrobatics, live yeah. singing, can-can dancing. Yes. Um, really sensual stuff, um, be prepared for a bit of nudity, that's part of the show. Absolutely. So it's really tasteful. Yeah, really, really cool. And a bit some circus kind of elements as well, mm. balancing and lifting, and it's a really exciting show. I highly recommend go. Yeah, worth the investment. Now we're heading back to the Marais district uh, to get some drinks. Mm. 
juicy pieces of pomegranate.